Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toaster Bros. And today we're taking a look at the worst rated laptop from Walmart. So we had a lot of success, well, success, buying the worst rated PC from Amazon. And you all like laptop content, so we decided to buy the worst rated laptop from Walmart, of course. Is it actually any good? Will it work? Well, we're about to find out. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, the online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. With Windows 10, it is so easy just to go onto the website using the link in the description down below, and then go to the Windows 10, click buy it now, add code TB20, then go to the checkout, put in your payment info, and then boom, you will get within a few seconds or a few minutes an activation code that you will go into Windows 10, put in the activation code, and it is fully legit. It will work out of the box, and you will have a fully activated Windows 10 license. We use GVG Mall for all the PCs we built here at the Toasty Bros, and so should you. So definitely check the link in the description down below and use code TB20 to save money on checkouts. So a quick disclaimer, this laptop, although it is from Walmart, it is technically not sold and shipped by Walmart. This is actually a third party seller. And so some of you may know this, some of you may not. So this is really common with Amazon, Newegg, Walmart, eBay, etc. Some of these things aren't sold by the actual store. So watch out for that because it will look like they are. But then if you go to the fine print, it'll say sold and shipped by, and it'll be someone else's name. That is probably one of the reasons why this could have really low ratings. And surprisingly, it's not because of the price. We checked every single review. None of them said it was like overpriced. They were all just saying that it has a lot of problems. And although we paid way too much for it, I think we paid like 850. And uh, this thing's probably realistically worth like maybe 400 to 450 at this point. And it's supposed to be new, but I'm surprised because it's eighth gen. So yeah, what we're gonna do is open this thing up. And while Jackson's opening it up, I'm gonna go over some of the reviews we've seen, which one thing to note, the last review that we got that was negative, or really any review in general is from 2020. So I'm assuming they probably priced this thing way too high to where no one's actually buying it. But you know what? Here at the Tussie Bros, we're gonna buy it, open it up and see what it can do. And hopefully it'll actually work for us. Yeah, this is, this is, you know, I feel like we're almost trying to save some people here because uh, I see people all the time that um, look at pricing on uh, like random things and they're like, oh my God, it's so overpriced. And it's like, well, to be fair, a lot of times sellers will purposely like mark up the price of something a lot. Just hoping people won't buy it, but they're like, maybe someone will and I'll get some extra money from it. And I think this is one of those cases. Uh, we're one of those people who can afford to buy this, so no one else should. But yeah, some of the one-star reviews that we have received, well, not we, this is not us. This isn't our awesome PC selling business PC bros. We get five-star reviews over there. Oh, yeah. um, the one-star reviews that I have seen on here is, works for a few months, then crashes, a board failure. Total disaster from the marketplace, hard drive fail within 36 hours. <laughs> Do not buy, I bought this laptop two months ago, and two weeks ago, it just started messing up. Um, if you're looking for a gaming laptop, this is not what you should look for. And uh, computer completely useless after one month. So the one star reviews are a little rough, but yeah. It seems like a lot of it too is probably the hard drive. Um, it is eighth gen, so I mean, it's about the era where they were starting to kind of get away from hard drives for more expensive laptops. But I mean, brand new, this laptop, I think would have been about 800 bucks um, based on the specs, because I know I had a seven gen i7 laptop with a 1050, this is a TI or not TI. This is a non-TI and that's what I had. And I think I paid $800 for it uh, back when they came out. So, I mean, for the for the price that we paid, I mean, it's, it's basically like time relevant, but uh, hard drive, not good. I mean, these are one terabyte um, hard drives. And on top of that, they're laptop drives. And surprisingly, this one's 7200 RPM. I was getting ready to make a whole rant about it's a laptop drive, so it's 5400, wow. Can we just already point out that like this thing oh. is clearly used or s oh. I mean, something? It looks really like warped. It's weird though, because like, it doesn't look like That used. Intel logo though, that looks so old. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's weird because like it's it's not it doesn't look like it's like used because like there's no fingerprints there's no scratches let's go take a quick look down I mean I just did that like the smudge but I mean the pack the back looks like perfect and normally that gets scratches so easily I mean the the bottom looks really good besides like a little bit of dust those green feet like look fake does that <laughs> does that make any sense like they kind of they're look... not the same color for no. sure it's like a whole different thing yeah maybe we got a refurbish and this is supposed to be new by the way I mean if you look it has all of like the HP warranty we got our OE charger although this was a little bit that doesn't look quite look right I mean I feel like they would from the factory would have had that bundled a little bit nicer but let's see if our charger still has the plastic on it charger still has the plastic on it definitely looks older but I mean it has everything it should but that's why I was saying I'd be really surprised if they still had a new eighth gen laptop because this laptop would have came out I would think somewhere between like two and five years and it's already not turning on 
2018. So that's about, about four, four years. About four years. So yeah. yeah, pretty close to what I was saying. Um, God, that didn't, that that hurts the resale. I mean, not, we already hurt our resale value by buying it. <laughs> it's already going to have to be like a $300 live top of PC Gross Tech. Exclusive discounts. Works. And hey, you still get a one year warranty. Although I, I'm scared to warranty this. It looks like it took a corner hit because it kind of bent the bezel up a little bit. HP, please. We, we, we love you so much. We must pray to the Hewlett Packard. Maybe okay. it's like so dead. Has the screen done anything? What uh, in the, the world? The <laughs> checksum is invalid. We reset. Okay, so this is probably because the laptop has been dead for so long. That's that's my guess. I'm, I'm hoping that we can still get into Windows. Um, but basically your CMOS battery is a really small button battery similar to what your grandparents hearing aid would use. And uh, that battery basically sits into the motherboard and it, it helps the BIOS retain its settings, um, but it is, it is a battery. So, you know, they can only last so long before the battery itself goes bad or it just loses a charge. And if this, if this laptop's been on like on their shelf for like four years um, and then didn't charge it, then that- I'm be very disappointed if Cal doesn't put a stock footage of some grandma with a hearing aid on. <laughs> All right, looks like we're getting into Windows. What if this is like Windows 8? The screen looks not too bad so far. Somebody said, there was one of the reviews said that they are made it because the board failed. And then when they got it back, their screen was distorted. <laughs> wow. so, so yeah, they kind of got the best of both worlds there. Oh, Cortana. oh gosh, Cortana, stop it. Touchpad works. I uh, don't know if the keyboard works yet, but it looks like it does because we got backlighting and everything. Backlighting looks good too. I mean, no complaints there. So ports, ports, let's go over the ports. I mean, we probably don't have even this laptop like years ago, but we'll do one again. So we have two USB threes. Uh, we have, uh, what is that, Kingston? Yeah, Kensington Lock. Um, we have a full-size SD card reader. That's a plus for you video editors out there. Not gonna be very fun on a hard drive, but you got it. USB-C, which I don't really remember seeing on these older laptops. It's kind of weird. So there's always a chance that maybe this is like a slightly newer 8th gen laptop, but who knows. USB 3.1 has a little charging logo next to it. So it's a powered port, HDMI out. We have ethernet. We might actually be able to, I just thought about this too. I wonder if this has a manufacturer date on it. We might have to consult, the box might have it on it, but this does not appear to. So more than likely it'd be on our little like serial here. I promise guys, this looks like we have a ton of graphics cards we're hoarding right now. Those are empty boxes. Just like, they're like, no, you don't need to know the date because we're gonna be selling these laptops for four years from now. Oh, right, here's this. It seems like a negative, we won't know. Yeah, oh, well, I mean, we have this 2018 HP like copyright. So I'd say it's safe to say it's probably 2018. Why they still have this? I, I'm assuming because it was an RMA or a refurb. That, that's my only guess. Maybe they sold this laptop like four years ago, just got it back for some reason and now they've resold it to us. So that means there could be all kinds of problems riddled with it. I'm interested to see once we get into it, if it has like the OEM hard drive or not. We'll have to go through and check the settings because there always could have been some stuff swapped in here and they just didn't feel like listing it, so. So let's go ahead and load this thing up with some games and see what we have. It's been about a day since we got everything booted up and this thing has been an absolute pain. Let me crank up this brightness a little bit for you guys. It is running such an old version of Windows that we're having to wait so long for it to update to the latest version of Windows 10. I mean, this thing still had Internet Explorer on it, if that gives you anything. We're waiting for it to update. We installed a bunch of games, but it's been a full day. I have a feeling this is not going to be done today either because it's just taking forever. So yeah, this is, this is going to be a project that eventually will tell you how long it ended up taking. Eventually, it'll be ready to go and we'll see what the worst rated Walmart from Laptop can actually do. All right, guys, we are playing Apex Legends to start this thing off and uh, Funny enough, this system, I think, took a total of like a day and a half to download all the games just due to the fact that it has a hard drive. Um, normally, it probably takes us like a couple hours to get everything we need. So, yes. yeah, I already said something about this. And if you see MSI Aftermurder up there, I have GTX, oh God, 1050 maybe. It's because MSI Aftermurder would not detect the GPU, the actual 1050, only the integrated graphics. So that usage up there, not accurate. So just run with it. Pretend like you don't see it. Tell you don't see it. Definitely does not feel like a dub. Woo. We lose those, we lose those. Yeah, so yeah, this laptop obviously spec-wise just yeah. out the gate buying it is not great. Like the price, obviously not there. The main thing is to see if this thing just started failing on us and so far it's not. Yeah. So at least yeah. it has that, but the price, definitely not a buy. Let me zoom in with my eyes. Oh, why is it pushing with no freaking HP, dude? Mad light, I'll tell you. Okay. Well, that guy pushed with no health. <laughs> Dude, there's not even bots in this game, but I would believe there is. 1050 maybe, baby. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, FPS below 60 in Apex, not great. Let's go no. to the next one. 
All right, guys, so the MSI Afterburner Fix does not work on this laptop, go figure. Um, but it looks like in the top left, you can kind of see that we're getting 100 FPS on high settings. So, I mean, just op god stuff, dude. <laughs> just op god stuff. I mean, CSGO is an old game. It's, it's pretty similar to run, but we've had some older end systems like really not be happy with CSGO, even though it's like ancient at this point. Oh no, please, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh. <laughs> Stim me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow, Look that was that something. Dub. Look at that. Easy peasy, and I had six kills. <laughs> Woo. Bot gay beat me. That's unfortunate, but yeah, CSGO, I mean, of course, I mean, it's gonna run as long as it's working probably, it's gonna run. CSGO runs on a potato. So let's try one more game that's probably gonna break this laptop. Okay, so just for the fun of it, we have Cyberpunk because I really didn't know how well the benchmark was gonna go. Um, and I just wanted to really stress this thing to its limit. So running low settings in the built-in benchmark and we're just gonna get our real-time reactions. Oh man, I think I've, oh, oh. Oh, I'm done messed up. Oh, dude, you're done. I'm done you're for. You're done for. 20 FPS. Look at the latency. 50, <laughs> 50 milliseconds. That's that's ridiculous. Definitely oh, not playable. Not, I wouldn't consider this playable. I mean, technically, you can drop it down to 720p, but like... It is true. I mean, I mean again, I wouldn't do that. And I, I just wouldn't, wouldn't buy, buy this laptop at this price to begin with. Like, I'm looking at a laptop. There's going to be a video on it. It has a 3050 Ti with a 5600X or H or whatever, and that was like $750. <laughs> like, bargains. But we got an average of 24, so Ooh. not great, not so playable. So I win? You win the opportunity of trying to send this back to Walmart. That's it guys that's his pc it worked but in recap we're gonna probably send it back to Walmart just because of this damage or at least attempt to and we'll try to leave some comments down below on how well that actually works because one it's not a great deal and two it did arrive damaged so we were not super thrilled about that so let's just wrap this video up real quick hey, ladies and gentlemen so now we have some rma work to do because well this thing i mean although it works it came with a massive dent on it and it was supposed to be new and it's it's clearly not new in one way or another so rather than trying to sell it at pcrose.tech we might be able to get like 250 300 bucks for it i would rather i mean what do we pay 850 850 yeah that, it, i think it, if it worked fine and didn't have this dent we'd yeah. probably, probably just sell it and take the loss but that's like I mean, that's just dumb at that point. So yeah, if you wanna, well, not take a look at this laptop because it is the worst rated one from Walmart. It technically does work though. All the reviews that were on the uh, Walmart listing talking about how it died randomly, I, I, we can't really test that because some people are like, three months later, it just died. <laughs> um, so you kinda wanna take that with a grain of salt, but there were no recent reviews that showed that it was gonna crash and we really didn't have any major issues when testing it here. But if you want some laptops that we do recommend, links down below will be affiliates and they will help us out. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let us know where you want to shop next. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So you know, we mentioned the PC selling business. Hopefully we're not selling this one there, but hey, if we are, it will be severely discounted for someone who wants to pick it up at a great price. PC Bros. On Tech is where we sell a bunch of awesome gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and office stuff as well, if that's more your thing. Use code TOASTBROS2 on checkout to save 2% and uh, use the link down below. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.